While pre-carved pumpkins like this one are only available during the fall festival, the uncarved variety will be available at the pumpkin patch here until Halloween. The UC strike took months to organize and organizers state there's no end in sight until all four bargaining points reach a resolution. The Wallace Annenberg Wildlife Crossing broke ground here in Agora Hills on Earth Day and is set to be complete by 2025. Reporting for Valley View News, I'm Rocky Walker. The largest strike in higher education history is currently taking place. 48,000 academic workers across the University of California system left their jobs. They're demanding better compensation. They say wages cause many UC student workers to struggle to pay rent. So over 92% of TAs at UC are rent burdened, and I'm absolutely one of them. I pay about 45% of my income on rent each month. They're demanding childcare for workers with children, fee reductions for international students, and they're pushing for transportation support. They want graduate workers' salaries raised from $24,000 a year to $54,000, and postdoctoral workers want yearly salaries of $70,000. For the you know, cost of living in California, we are paid poverty wages, especially those of us that have a PhD like myself. Postdoctoral scholars, academic researchers, graduate student researchers, and academic student employees make up the strike. The United Auto Workers Union represents them. Many UC undergrads joined the picket line in solidarity. They're my teachers, so their working conditions are my learning conditions. So if their working conditions are really difficult and they're overworked and underpaid, um, that means my learning conditions are suffering as well. The UC system offered a 7% pay raise. They stand by this raise, calling it fair and generous. Union officials say it still isn't enough. The UC strike took months to organize, and organizers state there's no end in sight until all four bargaining points reach a resolution. Reporting for Valley View News, I'm Rocky Walker. Orange County declared a health emergency over the unprecedented numbers of virus cases in children. Mostly toddlers are filling up hospitals here suffering from respiratory viruses. The most prevalent is respiratory syncytial virus, known as RSV. In our current hospital in Orange County, we have 65 uh, children who are in the hospital currently with RSV infections, and 11 of them are in the ICU in critical condition. These type of respiratory cases are coming earlier in the year than normal. As a result, pediatric hospitals are close to or at capacity. Since these cases usually arrive in late winter, hospitals aren't prepared to treat the high number of young patients they're seeing now. They're actually converting playrooms and conference rooms into areas where they can see patients. Our emergency rooms are, are overwhelmed. <laughs> The convergence of flu, COVID, and RSV cases all at once has some in the medical field calling this a triple-demic. Doctors say people should get vaccinated and stay home if sick. Meanwhile, pediatricians are putting in extra work hours just to keep emergency rooms open. We have urgent care um, after regular office hours to try to alleviate some of that ER burden. While there currently is no RSV vaccine available, Pfizer is hoping to roll one out as soon as next year. Reporting for Valley View News from Orange County, I'm Rocky Walker. Los Angeles is fighting urbanization's effects on local mountain lions by building a wildlife crossing over the 101 freeway in Agora Hills. The goal is to improve genetic diversity among wildlife by connecting the Santa Monica Mountains to the Simi Hills. Right now, they're cut off by the 101. That will reconnect basically islands of habitat, the Santa Monica Mountains, the Simi Hills, and then beyond. I mean, they were essentially severed by the freeways. A decline in biodiversity has led to birth defects among mountain lions, and recently some of the lions showed on average a 93% abnormal sperm rate. With the low fertility rates, it's believed this wildlife crossing is the last hope for the area's mountain lions. We're really, really sort of at a critical point where we really need to make this happen. The crossing will give all wildlife here a better shot at survival. Some say this is just the beginning. There is so much left to do to foster coexistence between our wild neighbors and with people and our pets. The Wallace Annenberg Wildlife Crossing broke ground here in Agora Hills on Earth Day and is set to be complete by 2025. Reporting for Valley View News, I'm Rocky Walker. The annual fall festival has come back swinging at the original farmer's market in L.A. 
It attracts thousands from the surrounding areas. Oh, the farmer's market is just a one-of-a-kind place. I mean, it's really a landmark in Los Angeles, and there's such great history, and it's um, wonderful being able to support the small businesses here. The Fall Festival and the original farmer's market both started nearly 90 years ago. In 2020, it was canceled because of the pandemic. Last year, they held a more intimate celebration, but this year is like the old days. The pig races and petting zoos returned. The popular artisan alley draws crowds. This is artist Jean Granada's first time back since the pandemic. It's been a few years, so it's great to be back and see how it's grown and see how people are having a great time. Even though Halloween items like pumpkins and candy have seen price increases, 2022 is set to record $10.6 billion spent on the holiday. Analysts say Halloween participation has reached pre-pandemic levels. Now 70% of adults say they'll celebrate Halloween this year. Especially after the pandemic, it's just nice to be outside. It took hundreds of vendors and artists to bring this festival back to the vibrant community event it has always been. While pre-carved pumpkins like this one are only available during the fall festival, the uncarved variety will be available at the pumpkin patch here until Halloween. Reporting for Valley View News, I'm Rocky Walker. It is Mean Girls Day. Although Mean Girls premiered in theaters in 2004, fans celebrate the movie on October 3rd due to an iconic scene. Protagonist Katie Heron's crush Ann Samuels finally speaks to her, asking what day it was, to which she replies, it's October 3rd. For the first time ever, Alaska's snow crab season is canceled. This is after billions of crabs have seemingly disappeared from the Bering Sea in recent years.